I, I was never taught and I never did. And I never felt that uh, deadlift should be on leg day. Wow, that's a, I've never been asked that question. Is there any exercise inside the gym that you avoid in fear of injury? I want to be so freaking crazy strong with the connective that nothing else hurts. Nothing else will ever hurt. And, and I can be able to do this for another 20, 30 years. Um, yes, sir. Bam, overcome. Deadlift on back or leg day? Well, I would, I would assume that you would do it on back day. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure why you would do deadlifts on, on uh, leg day. Because that one influencer who's got it in leg day. Uh, especially if you're bodybuilding. I, I don't understand that. Yeah. Deadlifts a back exercise. Yeah. Um, and then good luck. Not saying you can't, but good luck crushing squats and deadlifts on that same day. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. Uh, and if you're doing a strength program, you probably wouldn't want to do it together that way as well. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't I don't comprehend. I don't understand. Are you doing sumos? And so you think because of sumos, it's a it's a leg exercise? Yeah. Well, even if it's not sumo, a lot of people you're going to use your legs in the deadlift, right? Regardless, like you're. I mean, let's say you're just doing conventional deadlift. Let's just say you're doing full body deadlifts. Everything's proper. Oh, remember when I put that? Oh, so you're not you're not isolating. Everything's gonna work together. So a lot of people get they they see it as a is it upper or is it lower? So it's both. So how do I incorporate it into one of these days? Keep it on back day. Yeah, I did put up a post. A while ago and i said hey what are the three leg exercises you would do what's your three favorites and so many people put down deadlifts mm -hmm. and that just that that just blew me away that it's like a hack squat a single leg squat a, a smith machine a sissy squat a leg extension mm -hmm. are all better leg exercises than a deadlift mm -hmm. and it made it, it shocked me that if i said hey give me three incredible legs that exercise that you have to do and that's it from now on yeah it's it's squats a leg curl and a leg press or a hack squat one of those two it's like that's it uh, but for me but yeah um i'm not sure where that came in but thanks for the question yeah i'm just a little confused because i just never I, I was never taught and i never did and i never felt that uh deadlift should be on leg day there's so much you have to do on leg day yes. that's that's the that's the thing too it's Good like luck. there's so much you got to do on leg day yeah um you, you got to shape it you got to build the, the yeah. tensity you got to get both sides uh you know and you're not going to replace squats with deadlifts on leg day <sighs> and you don't have enough to squat and then yeah and then i can't squat and do much else <laughs> so that's my problem you're i guess it, right if I squat, there's not secondary, secondary, so secondary. Yeah. It's the farthest. Yeah. It's like, uh, just that's for me though. Yep. Wow. That's a, I have never been asked that question. Is there any exercise inside the gym that you avoid in fear of injury? Wow. See, I'm the guy that does most of the exercise that all of you are scared to do. So that, that takes out those. Probably the only thing I would probably not do anymore, uh, and I wish I didn't do it as much as a kid, is probably forced reps. So it's not so much an exercise, but it's a a, a training principle, training I guess principle. you. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't do forced reps, and I wouldn't do assisted reps. Um, I, I was born and raised a power lifter, so yeah. I, I I never liked the idea of assisted reps ever 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 um because if you're loading that much freaking weight already and you're not going to get it i want that shit off me or i'll dump it you know what i mean it's like it's like i don't want to push i don't want the body to push against a a non-movable object for a long period of time and risk up again you're always one injury away from retirement yeah. that's that's it so yeah, those I wouldn't I wouldn't say an exercise. I would say training principles. I would stay away from. Oh, Sweden. Uh, what muscles are best trained together across a weekly split? Um, depends on your goal. Depends on your goal. And 
you're going to have to just do it. Yeah, I just recommend making sure that you pick the program that you want for that period of time and then you stay with it. And then, uh, yeah, so that question is, that question's, uh, I guess, a good question in a sense that uh, are there muscles that you should work together? Sure, you can. Um, are you doing a strength program? Are you slicing and dicing? Are you doing an athletic training program? What are you doing? So that's how you kind of justify it. So to pick your goal and then pick the program yeah. that will suit that goal. <clears throat> I know people who do deads on leg day and I'm confused as well. Thank you for inspiring me to focus on my upper chest. Also, cable flies or dumbbells? Both. Both. Both of them. Thanks for the donation for the doggy treats. Um, yeah. Again, guys, I'm every exercise. Um, I did a and we just said there's better exercises. I will put myself in a position of range of motion on some exercises where I could go over to a cable and do it. But I want to do, I want to stabilize everything else in the shoulders and I want to feel it and I want to control it. So I did a dumbbell, you know, extension and people are like, oh, that's stupid. You shouldn't do that. It's going to hurt your shoulders. Hurt my shoulders. I'm doing biceps. Relax. Um but the point is there's times where I'm going to try something just because I want to stabilize something or put it in a different position where there's other better exercises. But then if there's better exercise, why don't you just do that? Well, you know, my goals have changed. Uh, I, I want range of motion now. I want to be able to – that connective – I want to be so freaking crazy strong with the connective that nothing else hurts. Nothing else will ever hurt, and, and I can be able to do this for another 20, 30 years. That's my goal today to be a, and so when you see me moving heavier weights, it's because everything else was taken care of and I can still do that. Uh, so I'm not bypassing the, the, the bridge that has to stay healthy. Um, but yeah, uh, good question, but yeah, flies, dumbbells or cables do both, do both. We did, we did such a, and I guess this will help you too. I find that I'll do dumbbells. If I did a moderate heavy chest, if the chest was good and it was good, you know, good weights and stuff, then I'll go to dumbbells to kind of continue taking it up a notch where yesterday we went, we, we lifted the house. And so I needed very little after that. And so I went cables. Maybe that will help you out a little bit on that aspect. Fox 7, 215, feeling great, eating 3,500 calories a day and put on no weight, thanks to you. Woo! Sheesh. Sheesh. Good calorie intake, uh, good size. Uh, I love that, man. I love that. Uh, are you going to compete at some point? Are you going to slice up and jump on stage or anything like that? Let me know. Oh, that's 42. Oh, I love that. 35. See, I know you guys don't think that's much. But he's 42 eating 3,500 calories where society would say, oh, my gosh, that's too much. You're you're in your 40s. you got to back it down. Maybe 1,600 calories. <laughs> this man's crushing it. Mike, I want to lose weight and visible abs, but my diet revolves around fast food, McDonald's, Taco Bell, pizza. I want abs, just don't have time to cook. Good luck. Ooh. Kev, we love you, buddy. Uh, and I also love your choices of movies, but yeah, I can't help you, brother. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. You guys know this. It doesn't matter how you train. It matters how you eat. Yeah, I, it is. It, it is important. It really is. And it also sets. Uh, understand your weight is important. So, because if you can decide at twenty that you're doing a hundred pounds. And then by the time you're 30, you're doing 150 pounds on bench, whatever it is. Then you just established for yourself without any tests or without anything is that your density in your body is stronger. And that's that's a great thing. That's a great thing. So that's another side note that I just think that weights are, are fundamental help you to understand that. And then also as you age and age and age, I don't care if you go to 405 on incline but you're still doing it. It was like, I was going to wear my Letterman's jacket yesterday. I didn't oh, yeah. tell you this. I was going to wear my Letterman's jacket yesterday because I knew I was going to be strong. I didn't realize how strong, but I wanted to say, Hey, what do you do in your fifties that you could do when you're 15? 
And so then it was, I was going to do the lift. Um, and the point there was to be able to do it through a lifetime. Cause most people, do, most people don't even do it once in a lifetime. And I've been able to do this since I was 15 till today. So it's, it's a cool thing that it's almost 40 years and I've been able to do it every day of that, that 40 year trial, that trial I'm trying out life this time, Yeah. but, but it's a cool thing. And so that's for you guys to kind of gauge yourself on what you're doing and how you're doing. Raw eggs for calories and shake. Good opinion. Good option. So I, 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 I don't understand it because I'm just, that it seems as though if you're doing a shake, you have your protein in it, right? And mm -hmm. so you already have it. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to think about how can I get more calories in? Um, well, yeah, you, you sure can. But again, it sounds like you're spitballing. Well, if you if you guys know what that terminology is in old school, you're just kind of like throwing things at the wall, throwing darts at the wall, see what sticks. It's like, hey, maybe I'll do eggs in the thing. Set up your nutrition. It really, you just you got to set up the nutrition, um, and then from there, we'll just baby it, baby step it from there to add in more stuff at certain points. But I, I'd make sure that you got the. It's like the guy said earlier. Uh, what body parts are trying to get? What's your goal? What's your goal first? Should I lift on the same days I do MMA or do it on separate days? So it's a tough one because I always did my judo or grappling or anything uh, on same days. I just set it up like it was a, if it was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I try to put the workouts around that. So I probably wouldn't do legs or back on days that I was grappling. Um, did you pick one? that prioritized i power body bone yeah yeah i was always during gladiators and, and uh battled them and all those and yeah. that's where i was doing most of the martial arts yeah. after i competed is competed in martial arts it, it was it was around that time and i would just get my lifts in because you're gonna have to give one of them more effort than the other and it's a tough thing because remember again with martial arts uh you're doing mma so for me uh I was mostly judo, and so a portion of the class, a majority of the class in the Taekwondo was form, 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 you know, yeah, you repetitive, win, you repetitive, win, repetitive, yeah. repetitive. And then at the end of class, you get your 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 roll in and your throwing and whatever you want to do at that or sparring. Uh, so it was just a shorter period of time. I don't know how MMA classes are ran. Um or, or I'm assuming you guys are much more high intense yeah. through it and you're just working mitts and kicks and stuff. So, yeah, um, do the heavy lifts on other days. But I wouldn't do this. I would really try to get, because you have to recover even more than everybody else, I would really try to get some full days off. No training, no martial arts, no nothing. Mike, Mike, Dave Palumbo said a lot of pro bodybuilders eat McDonald's free contests, but I've been eating it before every training session and notice I'm getting fat and bloated. What am I doing wrong? Oh, you're not. You, you, you took a piece of information and then applied it to yourself. So you said, so what really, now here's the conversation without me even seeing actually happened. Uh, Bobby Joe's getting ready for a show two weeks out. He's already peeled and sliced, and so he's going to up his calories with some fatty foods, and so he's having McDonald's. That's what he's talking about. That's what Dave Palumbo's talking about, that he was already – and his body is burning at a freaking sonic rate. <laughs> he could eat ice cream and burn it off. And so you said, oh, my gosh, these guys are doing it, so I can eat this. Where on the opposite, you're heavy and overweight and fat, and your metabolism isn't working at all. It is as slow as a pancake or or a a, yeah. a snail. That's how you have a piece of gum and you're already getting fat because that's how slow your metabolism is. But you heard this and said, hey, I can do it if these guys are doing it. See that? See that disconnect, Kev? Kev, come on, baby. You've been here for a while now. You know this. That's just it makes no sense that you take an information like that. It's like. Well, shit, if Elon Musk bought Twitter, man, why don't I go buy it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I don't have that kind of money. It's like, it's like 
you're not the same individual of these guys getting ready for shows that are staying on point, that are perfect on their nutrition. And because they set themselves up at that last stage, how much does Mona eat in and out? Uh, Jesus, uh, an amount that makes me jealous. A lot. Mona, before she started this six-week shred, would eat in and out in Chick-fil-A every day. Yeah, something like that. So I just said it. Does that mean that any of you can go out and do that? I can't. And I'm a 300-pound guy. I can't go out and eat that. So, Kev, come on, man. you got to you got to stop. You keep trying to search for a trick instead of just joining the Titan crew. That's what it comes down to, Kev. 